And I would just like to summarize everything that we've done this afternoon. Firstly, people, measure your distances as accurately as possible. Very important. Secondly, know all your formulas. Now, people, that's very important. And that's the problem that we've got that most of the, uh, of the metrics I have in the second question paper. The a lack of knowledge of, of, of the formulas. If each and every formula, you must know that formula. This following one. Use the correct scale. 1 to 50,000 and 1 to 10,000 for the orthophoto map. Please, people, you may not confuse the scales. You may not make these mistakes. Very important. When you work on the topographical map, 1 to 50,000. When you uh, work on the orthophoto map, 1 to 10,000. You must remember that. Then don't, do not only write down the answer. Follow and write down all steps. Because you get marks for all steps. Now, I've mentioned already the first step, you must know your formula, you must write down your formula. Did you know that if you write down the correct formula, you already have one mark? Now, one out of five is much better than not out of five. So if you know your formulas, you at least will get one out of five in the calculation that you do. So don't uh, only write down the answer, follow and write down all the possible steps because you will be able to, there's a mark education for each of the steps. Let's look at the following one. Always use a calculator, people. Always use that. And then, do not rush. Work as accurately as possible. Do not rush. And then, always use the correct unit, people. Remember that if you, if you, uh, if you have an uh, area question, and your, and your answer is only in kilometers, you're going to lose marks for that, because you did not use the correct unit. If you do gradient, and remember when I did gradient with you, I told you, no units, it's a ratio. And you add uh, units to it, then it means your answer is wrong. So please, people, always use the correct unit in your answer. That's very, very important that you must do that. And then make sure that you have worked correctly. Go back. Do the calculation again. Do it a second time. If you've got en uh, enough time, do it a third and a fourth time. And see if you get to the same answer. Very important. Make sure that you have worked correctly. And remember, I've mentioned this quite a few times this afternoon. Practice makes perfect. You must practice all your calculations. You must know your formulas and then practice your, 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 your calculations. This is very, very, very important, people. Now, people, that's it for this afternoon. We have looked at your, the different uh, 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 calculations. We hope that you can get those marks at the end of the year. And remember, not only the end of the year, in June and September exams as well. And remember, it's 20 marks, 20 easy marks by means of calculations. You can do it. You can uh, uh, get, get, get full marks in, 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 in calculations. But then it means that you must practice and practice and practice. Thank you for paying it, uh, attention this afternoon. And please go practice your calculations. And remember, geography rules. Thank you. <laughs>